PHP arrays. What is an array? An array is a special variable which can store multiple values in one single variable. An array can hold all your variable values under a single name and you can access the values by referring to the array name. Each element in the array has its own index so that it can be easily accessed. And in PHP, there are three kinds of arrays. These are the numeric array, in which an array, or it is actually an array with a numeric index, associative array, an array where each ID key is associated with the value. So we have an ID key for associative array and multi-dimensional array. So it's an array containing one or more arrays. So it's an array within an array. Numeric arrays. A numeric array stores each array element with a numeric index. And there are two methods to create a numeric array. So number one, in the following example, the index are automatically assigned and the index starts with zero. So if you go to look at the example here, we have here the variable cars. So it was declared as an array and we have here the elements of the array. And this element, the index of this element is actually zero. So the next one, the index should be one, then two, and then three. So that's why it's called a numeric array because the index is actually in uh, numeric, it's in numbers. And here's another method in creating numeric array. So this time around, we assign the index manually. So in the previous example, the index will be assigned automatically. But in this case now, we're going to assign the index manually. So we have here the variable name dollar cars and then we have here square bracket zero square, uh, close square bracket. So that's the index is equal to this value. So it's a, then cars one Volvo etc. So these are the index of the array. So this is another method of creating numeric arrays and of course in this uh, we have here now the example so how to access numeric arrays in the following example you access the variable values by referring to the array name and the index so again it should be the array name so let's highlight that so it's actually the array name and the index so that's how we access a variable so here again on the first part we have created the array and we have been now an echo statement cars zero so what is car zero so we are now accessing the value stored in this particular uh, index so car zero is actually sub and cars one volvo are Swedish cars. So the output will be yeah, like this. So this will be our output. Okay, so again, we use the variable name and the index to access numeric array. So just like in also in this example here. Then we also have what we call associative arrays. An associative array so each ID key is associated with a value. When storing data about specific named values, a numerical array is not always the best way to do it. So this is because sometimes it will be easier to remember uh, names rather than numbers. So with associative arrays, we can use the values as keys and assign values to them. So example, in this example, we use an array to assign ages to different
present. So, ages, array. So, we have three ages here, 32, 30, and 34. But now, we have, we associated the first value with Peter, then Quagmar, and then Joe. So, this example is the same as example one, but shows a different way to, of creating array. So, the same is the same with this. So, we have ages, and then in close in square bracket is the index Peter. So, equal to 32, ages Quagmar equals 30, ages Joe is equal to 34. So, in this case, we have created associative arrays. So, here's another example. So, we're now trying to access also. So, again, here we have created the array, associated array. Then we place it. Peter is then the ages array. And now our index is Peter, years old. So, the output will be Peter is 32 years old. So, here you notice that we don't need to memorize what is the index, the number. But all we have to do is use the name so sometimes uh, we can easily remember the index by using associative arrays we also have what we call multi-dimensional arrays in a multi-dimensional array each element in the main array can be an array and each element in the sub array can be an array and so on so we can have several dimensions of arrays so again Multi-dimensional arrays are just actually uh, nested arrays, or these are array inside another array. So here's an example. So we have an array named families equal to array, and we have here an index, Griffin. So it is now associated to another array that contains three values. Quagmar is also associated with another array that contains Glenn or one, just one value. Then Brown array, again, associated with three values here. So we have three arrays inside an array and that makes it a multi-dimensional array. So multi-dimensional. So let's try displaying a single value from the array above. So echo is families and then Griffin 2, a part of Griffin family. So Griffin's family 2, so this is 0, 1, 2. That's the Griffin uh, associate index. So 2 is Megan. That's why the output here is, so we have here is, and then this one, so we have seen a while ago, that Griffin 2 refers to Megan. That's why we have here Megan. So that's the output of this. So is Megan a part of the Griffin family? Now we have here a the for each loop. So if you notice in our for our discussion of for loops, we actually skip for each loop because for each loop becomes useful, especially when it comes to manipulating arrays. So for each loop is used to loop through arrays. And the syntax is for each, then the name of array as, and then the variable name here. So, and then the code to be executed. So for every loop iteration, the value of the current array element is assigned to the value. So again, the value here, so the value here, this variable will contain the current value of the array. So again, remember that arrays contain several values. And if we look to the array, initially, of course, value here will, will contain the first value of the array. And then on the next iteration, then of course, the next value. So again, it's assigned to value and the array pointer is moved by one. So it moves to the next pointer as we go on the loop, we go on with the loop. So on the next loop iteration, you'll be looking at the next array value. So here's an example. So the for each loop example, the following example demonstrate a loop that will print the value 
of the given array. So we have here PHP. So X array contains 1, 2, and 3. So we have here now for each X, that's the name of the array, as value. So again, value here will contain the current value of the array. So initially, value here will contain the first element, which is actually 1. So echo value that will display 1. And on the next iteration now, it will move to the next pointer. So value now will be equal to 2. So echo value that will print 2. And then on the next iteration, value now will be equal to 3. So the output will be 1, 2, and then 3. So that ends our lecture on PHP arrays.